So I guess I'm not sure why, if other countries across the world are able to grow industrial hemp and have not had reportedly any problems with marijuana, why can't the United States do the same? The government says this is marijuana, you're saying it's not marijuana. I would say this, I would say that the, that the Controlled Substances Act, which defines marijuana, specifically excludes the, the, the non-viable seeds and the oil that you make from those seeds, along with husk and other sorts of things. They're specifically excluded from regulation as marijuana, and those uh, is our position that, that in doing so, Congress intended to protect the legitimate hemp industry, which is what these two fellows would like to be a part of, obviously. David, if, if it became legal, have you guys identified markets that you could sell the product to? Well, I, I have to say it isn't daily, but uh, pretty close. At least weekly, somebody is calling and saying, uh, can I buy your fiber? Can I buy your seed? And they don't understand that we haven't mm -hmm. even gotten out of the chute yet. So uh, I have to just write them or tell them or email them that uh, we're premature here, but there is certainly a market, uh, especially in the West Coast, for the food and uh, uh, that, you know, the, the oil and the, the nuts that they get from it and uh, the, the food industry, especially, I think, in the West Coast. And I think the, the fiber is a huge thing that we can benefit from here in North Dakota especially with the fiber board and uh, uh, various fiber things that we could do with it here. I mean, I'm not sure why the DEA is against industrial hemp, but, but I think the idea that, that any farmer uh, who would go to the trouble of getting a state license, register for a state license, reveal to the Ag Department the GPS location of his field, I doubt that that person would try and grow, grow drug marijuana in that location. It's pretty obvious that if NDSU, NDSU um, is needed eight years and, and still nothing resolved. Uh, I think the EA is just trying to wait us out, you know, and, and uh, obviously this is a one-year license that we apply for to DEA, and it's not a cheap license, and it's renewable every year. So all they have to do in North Dakota is to wait us out for five, six months till, say, June 1st without acting on it, and it's a de facto denial of our license. At, at that rate, we will never be able to get a license from DBA, and that's that's part of the frustration. You know. Never was a mention of industrial hemp at all. I noticed they even put industrial hemp in uh, quotation marks in their brief. Um, I'm surprised they, also... they even mentioned industrial hemp because <laughs> every chance that I've seen that or every place that I've seen them use it, they've referred to it as marijuana, and that's their that's their definition because it's in the same genus and species. They have totally denied that there is such a thing as industrial hemp to me.